and welcome to another episode of the Intrepid English Podcast. Today it's part two of Cat Idioms. Part one was such a hit that we decided to make a part two. The internet loves cats, and I do too. Anything animal related always seems to go down well with our students. As intrepid English learners will know, we run a weekly competition in the intrepid English community where you can earn achievement badges and points to buy Intrepid English lessons. Our pets competition, where students posted a picture of their pet and told us a little bit about them, was one of the most successful competitions to date. Students and teachers shared stories about their dogs, cats and even a gecko. Today we will take a look at five more cat idioms and their meanings. Try to use them in your English conversations this week. Or why not drop a comment in the Intrepid English community and practice with the friendly Intrepid English learners and teachers. Number one, the cat's whiskers or the cat's pyjamas. If something is awesome, great, wonderful, fantastic, brilliant, It is the cat's whiskers. On the other side of the pond, in the USA, you might also hear the cat's pyjamas used. This is similar to another common fun idiom, the bee's knees. For example, my new computer is the cat's pyjamas. I am so pleased with it. It was really worth the investment. The band at the bar last night were the cat's whiskers. They deserve a record deal. Number two, grinning like a Cheshire cat. Fans of Alice in Wonderland may recall this slightly scary looking character with a wide toothy smile. When you grin like a Cheshire cat, you have a huge smile on your face and you look very happy. For example, you're grinning like a Cheshire cat. What's happened? She was grinning like a Cheshire cat when she opened her gift on Christmas Day. I'm so glad she liked it. A bonus idiom is the idiom to get lost down a rabbit hole, which is also used in Alice in Wonderland, and this features in our Essential English Idioms course. Number three, have kittens. This is an expression meaning to be extremely anxious, nervous or stressed and to freak out because of it. For example, my dad is going to have kittens when he sees my tattoo. I'm not looking forward to telling him. Grandma was having kittens when you weren't back by 11pm last night. Where were you? Number four, let the cat out of the bag. This is an idiom which means to reveal a secret. Once the cat is out of the bag, everybody knows. This idiom is believed to have originated in the 15th century. For example, don't tell Tim about the surprise party. He's so bad at keeping secrets. He'll undoubtedly let the cat out of the bag. I am getting the twins a playhouse for their birthday. I want it to be a surprise, so please don't let the cat out of the bag. Number five, fight like cat and dog. Whilst there is plenty of evidence to suggest that cats and dogs for the main part actually get on pretty well, this idiom is often used to describe two people who have frequent aggressive arguments, disagreements or even physical fights. For example, despite the fact that they are twins, my brothers can never see eye to eye and often fight like cat and dog. They fought like cat and dog when they were kids but they get on like a house on fire now that they're adults. If you'd like to practice these idioms a little more, you can head on over to the Intrepid English blog and complete the fill in the blanks exercise. You can also study these idioms and many, many more in our Essential English Idioms course which is available in the Intrepid English Academy. If you're not yet a member of Intrepid English, you can try some Academy courses for free. These are the Reported Speech course, English for Travelling, 
or Business English Small Talk, just head on over to intrepidenglish.co.uk. This podcast was written and recorded by me, Intrepid English Teacher Kate. You can find out more about me on my Intrepid English Teacher profile page. You can also book a free trial lesson today to discuss this topic in more detail and talk about your English learning goals with an experienced and friendly English teacher. If you have any questions or you'd like to request a topic for a future blog, you can contact us using the chat box on our website, send us an email or drop us a message on any of our social media channels. My name is Kate, I'm one of the teachers at Intrepid English and thank you for listening to today's podcast.